So then we just started doing it right in the middle of the ball pit. Like in front of all those kids? Oh, well, they didn't see anything. Yeah, I mean, they just saw balls. <laughs> right? No, not my balls, though. They just saw I the ball pit. No, that's funny. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you're dating again, right? Didn't you just go on a date with that one guy? Yeah. I did. I didn't know about this. How did it go? It was terrible. Oh no, what happened? Okay, so I told you that I met him on OkCupid, okay right? Yeah. And then I was talking about how cute I thought he was, remember? Oh, what do you look like? He was tall, black guy. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can't say that. You can't call him that. What? African American. Yeah, it's African American. The other way is racist. No, it's not. African American is the preferred title. But this guy was Canadian. Unless you're African American, then you can say whatever you want. Or if you're gonna say black, you gotta like look around and like make sure nobody's looking and then you kind of whisper it so that we know that you know you shouldn't say it, but you're being respectful and we get it. Black. It's a little ridiculous, but he was black. Really cute guy, right? So I met him at the restaurant and by the time I got there, he had already been there. I'm freaking out, I'm late, I'm flustered, my stomach is making all these crazy noises. So before I can even get to the table, I have to go to the restroom. I find a stall, I'm sitting there, I'm doing my business. Then a guy walks in and starts peeing and that's when I realize I'm in the guy's bathroom. What's wrong with that? They can't kick you out. You should be able to use the bathroom of the gender that you identify yourself with. I'm a woman, so I'm going to identify with the female gender and I was just in the wrong bathroom. Okay. So I was taking a shit in this bathroom. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. You got a curse like that? Yeah, that's a really uncreative way to express yourself. It's like, oh, Ugh, me, like, me, uh, me. F, F, F this, sh, sh, F, S, F, S word F this. F on this, M, F this. B word that. Ugh. C word, you're a C word. Oh, I hate that one. Yeah. My God, can I not say anything without weirdly offending you Lord's guys? name in vain, hello? What? You just used the Lord's name in vain. You said, oh my God. Maybe you don't hear yourself. You know, my mom's Catholic, so that's like really hurtful. You can say gosh or golly or something that doesn't offend religion. I'm agnostic, but I respect other people's religion. I'm agnostic too, but I'm spiritual. But still, you don't know that. We could have been Christians and that would have been really offensive. I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to offend anyone of any religion. I was just trying to tell a story. Just be a little more aware of what you're saying. Cause like, we're your friends, so we're not gonna beat you up too bad. But if you're in a public place, can you imagine? Just be more aware. Okay, well, I'm being very loud in the stall, and by the time I want to go wash my hands, I realize that the guy that's been in the bathroom the entire time, my date. Oh no! Yeah. So, I'm freaking out, I turn as white as a ghost, and I... Ooh, we're not all white! Oh, now you upset our ethnically ambiguous hallway ghost. He's white. We don't know that. Look, if I thought this story was gonna cause a big fat argument... Body shaming the argument? That's not a thing! You know I have a friend who's fat, hope that's okay with you? And underneath all those layers, there's actually a pretty good person. Yeah, he has a thyroid problem. Oh my, you guys are crazy, okay? We are all different. Every person has something in them that makes them different or unique. And that's what makes the world a very interesting place. Without it, it would be so boring. Sure, some of the people who are hateful and unaccepting of these differences can be considered racist, sexist, or ignorant. But it's not all of us. Don't you realize that this hypersensitivity is what's keeping us all separate? This fear of offending someone by accidentally saying the wrong thing keeps us in boxes, too scared to interact with each other. And the people creating this fear by twisting other people's words are the most judgmental people of all. And as long as we're not hating on each other, it's okay to express ourselves. This life is too short for walking on eggshells. We just need to laugh and love each other. Game. What the fuck? I'm just kind of doing this like little choppy thing. Like, just, I don't, just no idea what I'm doing really. Kind of blindly moving a knife.